How's it going? My name is John Allen with 3D X-Ray out of the UK, and we manufacture portable X-Ray systems, which is the ThreatCan system. And we're actually here at VJ X-Ray in New York, working with them with their portable constant potential generator, which we call the iGen. And what we're doing here is we're doing a lot of testing and re in regards to the comparison between a pulse generator and a constant potential generator. And all the testing is revolving around what types of performance levels you're going to get between the two, the two systems. And we've learned a lot just in the two days that we've been testing here. So the difference between a pulse generator and a constant potential generator is basically a pulse system is like a strobe light. But with a constant potential generator, it's basically like turning the light on. So one provides a constant stream of radiation or x-ray, and the other one pulses it. So the testing that we were doing was a lot of penetration type testing to verify what levels of penetration and wire resolution or imaging each system was able to provide. And we did a lot of different tests. This one here that we did was the ANSI 4255 test, um, which is a wire step wedge. It has several different gauges of wire that you have to image here. We we're actually able to max this one out with the um, iGen system from VJ Technologies. We also did penetration testing on different thicknesses of lead, so from one millimeter, two millimeter, and three millimeter. And behind these, we we're trying to image IED components like this is a offset, relay, micro switch, and toggle switch. We also went so far as to try to penetrate 25 millimeters of steel. Um, and we did this at various distances and different levels of um, energy or KV, uh, depending on what it was. This one is, uh, a lot of you who do x-ray know which one this one is. This is an AMS, ASTM F792-88. And this one over here is, I believe, the 08. I may have that backwards. If I do, I'm sorry. But we did basically three different tests on this one. Wire resolution, penetration, and then spatial resolution. And we compared both the constant potential system against the golden pulse system. And the last thing we, we did was a wire resolution test but we kind of beefed it up by adding more steel to this to actually make it much harder to pass. And um, from this, we've gathered a ton of data in regards to how much more a constant potential system provides you as far as capability versus a pulse system. So here shortly, we're probably going to put together a white paper about all this information and disseminate to you so you guys can see the data.